Uh, hello dear students i hope you will be fine happy and healthy today and today we are going to begin the paraphrase and explanation of the poem and the world is too much with us page number 94 first of all listen the short uh, translation and then paraphrase and then explanation the world is too much with us hum ne bahut zyada maad parasti ikhtiyar ki hai ya duniya hamare paas bahut zyada hai द वर्ल्ड इज़ टू मच विद अस दुनिया हमारे पास ज़्यादा है हमने दुनिया को बहुत ज़्यादा तोज्जो दी है माद परस्ती हम में बहुत ज़्यादा हो गई है लेट और सून जल दिया बदेर यानी अभी अभी हम में पैदा हो गई है या पहले ही से पैदा हुई है गेटिंग एंड स्पेंडिंग हम कमाते हैं और ख़र्च करते हैं वी ले वेस्ट और फॉर्स और अपने असल हकीकत और ताकतों और तोानाइयों और सलाहियतों को हम वेस्ट करते हैं बेकार करते हैं लिटल वी सी एन नेचर दैट्स और और हम फितरत में वही चीज़ें बहुत कम देखते हैं जो असल में हमारे लिए है जिससे हमें लुत्फानंदोज होनी चाहिए वे गीवन और हार्ट्स अवे हमने अपने दिलों को बेकार चीज़ों में दिए हैं असॉर्डेड बोन ये एक गठिया नियामत है ये दुनिया के पीछे जाना गठिया नियामत है अगजमरान है ये अच्छी बात नहीं है कि हमने अपने दिलों को बेकार सी चीज़ों में दिया है दिस सी दट बेयर्स हर बोजम टू द मून ये समंदर जिसने अपना सीना चाँद के लिए खुला रखा है मतलब समंदर के पानी में चाँद की तस्वीर साफ नज़र आती है तो ऐसा है जैसे समंदर ने चांद के लिए अपना सीना खोल रखा है एंड एंड आर अफ गेदर नाउ सॉरी द वेंड्स दैट विल बी हाउलिंग ऑल द और और हवाएं जो हर वक्त तेज तेज आवाज़ें निकालते हुए चलती है तो इनकी अपनी एक मज़ा है लेकिन हम इनसे मज़ा नहीं लेते हैं एंड आर अफ गेदर नाउ लाइक स्लीपिंग फ्लॉर और अब ये खामोश या स्लीपिंग सोए हुए फूलों की तरह खामोशी से हवा इकट्ठी हो गई है एंड आर अफ गेदर नाउ अब ये इकट्ठी हो गई है लाइक स्लीपिंग फ्लॉर मीन सोते हुए फूलों की तरह फॉर दिस फॉर एवरी थिंग वी आर आउट ऑफ ट्यून इसके लिए और इस तरह सब चीज़ों के लिए हम बेसुरे हैं यानी हम इसकी तारीफ नहीं करते हैं so that was the short explanation of this uh, translation of this stanza now we are going to uh, paraphrase as as you know dear viewers that in the paraphrase we have to change from the verse form to the prose form nazm se nasar mein humne ye tabdeel karna hai so we will say uh, that in this line uh, the poet says that he we have become very much uh, materialistic and we have become materialistic uh, from the uh, from the beginning of our life or from nowadays we have be become materialistic uh, we are in pursuit of money we are getting money and spending the money and in this way we waste our whole energies in trivial and previous thing and uh, we don't see a lot of thing in the nature which are for us we don't enjoy the nature which is which is uh, for us and uh, we have given our whole energy and our heart to such a thing which is not so much important and we don't take any enjoyment from the uh, nature uh, from the moon which have oh, sorry from the ocean which have opened their uh, breast their um, bosom for the moon yani uh, the ocean has opened the bosom from the moon because the ocean is getting enjoyment from the nature and similarly the winds are also creating a very sweet noises and it makes uh, sweet songs uh, when the um, wind is blowing but we don't take any enjoyment from that as well and when the sleep is silent and it looks like a sleeping flower so it has its own charm and beauty but we don't enjoy that sight as well for everything we have become out of tone we don't enjoy anything of nature so that is uh, we just change from the poetry to the uh, prose form 
and now we will talk about the explanation as i told you so many times dear students that an explanation there are three things that what's the name of the poet uh, what's the name of the poem and what's the capsule summary of the uh, poem so we have written over here for you that uh, when we uh, make the uh, reference to the context of this uh, uh, poem so we will say in this way uh, these line have been taken from the poem ye nazam liye gaye hain from the poem uh, the world is too much with us mean nazam ka naam yahi hai the world is too much with us this poem has been composed by uh, by william wordsworth और ये शायर का नाम हो गया कि विलियम वर्डवर्थ ने ये नजम लिखा है द पोएम अभी एक कैप्सूल समरी है शॉर्ट समरी है द पोएम लेमेंट्स द वीक कनेक्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग विद द नेचर शायर अफसोस करता है द वीक कनेक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन बीइंग इंसानों की कमजोर कनेक्शन की विद नेचर फितरत के साथ इंसान की कनेक्शन बहुत कमजोर है द मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी एंड द मटीरियल परसूट है us unable to appreciate nature and uh, tranquility in it mean uh, jadid industrial uh, society ne sanati society ne and the material pursuit our duniyai just ju ne uh, had made us unable to appreciate nature hum is qabil nahi reh gaye hain ke hum fitrat se lutf andoz ho jaye and tranquility in it aur iski khamoshi se hum lutf andoz ho jaye hum iske qabil nahi reh chuke hain so that is reference to the context and when we uh, say the explanation so whatever come in your mind dear student about these line you should mention it so uh, these line uh, we will say first of all this uh, then the explanation uh, as we know that wordsworth is a poet of uh, nature and he enjoys uh, nature very much he has written all his poetry about the na- uh, about uh, the nature Uh, so this is also taken from his uh, long poem prelude prelude se ye liya gaya hai and it is also about uh, the nature and the la- these line the poet says that we human being have become very very much materialistic and we are in search of money and we own the money and we spend the money and we want to get more and more and uh, during this time we don't uh, enjoy the lovely nature the lovely scenes of the uh, nature if there is a beautiful place a beautiful st- uh, scenery so we don't take any heed any tawajjo any heed to them any attention to them but we are all the time in search of getting the money and spending the money and we have become materialistic and uh, the poet says that uh, so far the value of the nature is concerned so we don't give so much value to the na- nature and uh, we have make our heart busy in such activity which are very trivial and trivial activity that is getting uh, the uh, m- more and more money and if we enjoy that how the uh, ocean has opened the has uh, her bosom to the sky or sorry to the moon if we look at this scenery and so and if we uh, uh, think about this scenery so really it's a great blessing of allah and it's a great enjoyment but we human being don't take any enjoyment from them similarly if we look at the winds which are blowing in a beautiful way and which make songs while it's blowing so it has its own charm and beauty but we don't enjoy that beauty of the nature as well uh, sometimes the wind the winds in in silent condition and everything is silent and it looks like a uh, silent flower the winds so that is also such a condition such a place which we should enjoy but we are out of that as well uh, we are out of uh, that we don't enjoy such a, a situation as well so the poet says that on the whole we have become very much passive to na- nature and we don't enjoy uh, any scenery of the nature any action of the nature any activity of the nature and we are all the time uh, busy uh, in getting more and more money and spending more and more money and we have become very very much materialistic now let's begin so you should write in this way whatever come in your mind re- related to the uh, poetry so you can enter them 
नाउ कम टू द सेकंड स्टेंजा इट मूव्स अस नॉट यानी ये हमें मुतासर नहीं करती है ये नेचर हमें मुतासर नहीं करता है और ग्रेट गॉड अजीम खुदा आई रदर बी अ पेगन मैं तो चाहता हूँ कि एक पेगन होता एक काफिर होता सकल्ड इन क्रीड आउट लान और ऐसे ही क्रीड ऐसे अकीदों में पलता फूलता जो दकयानूसी हो जो लोग दीवी और दीवतियों और अल्लाह ताला के अलावा दूसरों की इबादत करते हैं तो अगर वही होते तो वो भी किस्म के नेचर से लुतफानंदोज होते हैं सो माइट आई स्टैंडिंग ऑन द प्लीजेंटली तो फिर मैं खुशगवार सब्जार पर खड़ा होता हैव ग्लैम्प्स दैट वुड मेक मी अ लेस पोर लोन और ऐसे मनाजिर से लुतफानंदोज होता जो मुझे कम तनहा करते जो दूसरे दखयानूसी अकायद हैं तो इसमें लोग सब्जार पर बैठते हैं और अपने देवत दीवी और देवताओं को देखते हैं जो समंदर से निकलते हैं और एक अकीदे हैं और लोग इससे लुतफानंदोज होते हैं तो और जोर कहता है कि अगर मैं ऐसा होता तो इससे अच्छा होता बनस्बत ये कि एक ईसाई हो अभी और जोर तो ईसाई था और ईसाइत तो भी सच्ची मजहब थी तो मैं इसी ही मजहब में मटेरियलिस्ट हो चुका हो है उसाइट ऑफ प्रोटियस राइजिंग फ्राम द सी और मैं प्रोटियस के मनाजिर को देखता जो समंदर से उठता है ओ हियर ओल्ड ट्राइटन या मैं पुराने ट्राइटन देवता को सुनता ब्लो हेज रेत्र हान जो अपने मुजैन नासूर को या हान को बचा बजाता है तो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन द पैराफ्रेज इन दिस टेंजा द पोइट सेज दैट द ह्यूमन बींग आर नट द ह्यूमन बींग डोंट गेट इंस्परेशन फ्राम द नेचर एंड देन ही से दैट ओ माई गॉड एफ आई और पेगन आई इट वुड बी बेटर फॉर मी बिकॉज द पेगन पीपल एंजॉय द नेचर मोर एंड मोर देन द क्रेस्चन बिकॉज दे यूजली सी एन एन अ ग्रीनरी एंड दे लुक एट द सीनरी ऑफ द प्रोटियस विच राइजिंग फ्राम द सी एंड दे आल्सो लुक एट द दे आल्सो लेसन टू द ट्रेटन Uh, who is another goddess or go- god or goddess and uh, he, uh, who uh, sings uh, songs and blow his horn in a sweet voice and the people are enjoying that these are also uh, the symbols of nature so that is the short fair phrase and when you write the explanation so again you will write that these lines have been taken from the poem uh, the words are too much with us the poem has been composed by william wordsworth the poem lament the weak connection of human being with nature the modern industrial society and the material pursuit have made us unable to appreciate nature and uh, tranquility in it in the given stanza the poet says that uh, oh my god most of the people are not get inspired from the nature they don't take any interest in the nature they don't become uh, they don't enjoy the nature a lot uh, instead of the christian the non christian people enjoy the uh, nature a lot and if i were a uh, Uh, a non christian it would be better for me because so far the non christian are concerned they have their own god and goddesses and when they are worshiping them so they enjoy the nature a lot because the non christian people uh, when uh, usually they sits on a pleasant uh, greenery and from this greenery they watch the sights of Uh, different god and goddesses among them one uh, uh, one god there one uh, god is a proteus uh, who is uh, rising from the sea and all the non non christian people are the pagan people are the infidel people looking at that and they enjoy that sight very much and this is a beautiful uh, scenery of enjoying nature and secondly the non christian people are the infidel people they uh, listen to the triton uh, who uh, who is also a god of ocean or a god of sea who is rising uh, when he is rising from the sea so he has a, a, a horn in his mouth and he uh, 
plays that horn in a sweet voice and uh, this voice the people enjoy a lot and that's also a voice of nature and uh, this natural voice the non pagan uh, the non christian people enjoy a lot similarly the other sides of nature which is a kind of um, a goddess which arises from the sea that is also a natural scene so the pagan people enjoy that scene also a lot and uh, so far the christian are concerned so they don't enjoy the uh, scenery a lot so instead of uh, instead of a christian if i were a non christian it would be better for me because then i would enjoy the nature a lot with my other uh, fellows who are non christian because the non christian have their own um, uh, creeds their own outworn creeds mean uh, not true or false beliefs and according to these false beliefs uh, they enjoy the nature a lot so we i would also enjoy the nature uh, too much if i were among them uh, so the again it shows that the uh, poet uh, the poet complain from the christian that the christian people have become very much materialistic and they don't enjoy the nature a lot so dear student uh, this was the explanation uh, try to learn it well and try to watch it again and again whatever come in your mind you should include it because uh, that is uh, explanation you can do it in a different angle uh, every person has its own uh, thoughts and uh, they take a different meaning from the poetry of a poet it is not uh, true that uh, um, whatever i said they are correct and whatever i didn't say they are uh, wrong maybe another person explain the poem in another way another person explain the poem in another way there are so many hidden uh, meaning in the poem so you can explain it at any way and don't forget to share it with all your near and dear one thank you so much khuda hafiz